Okay. So Clint, yeah, you're saying, and that's, that's one of the kind of the trickiest parts of the con. So, okay. So Clint is saying he just installed member mouse last week. Um, and where he's stuck is some technical integrations using social learner and learn dash and other such things. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of the nature of the beast, you know, it's WordPress is very powerful. Um, plugins to WordPress are very powerful. Themes are very powerful, but as so, as soon as you start trying to integrate everything together, there's usually some communication challenges that happen between the multiple, the disparate parts. There's that that can just happen on the surface, right? Even if you know exactly what you're doing, that can happen. But then of course, if you've never done it before, you know, there could be things that are happening that, um, you know, maybe otherwise for experienced person, it wouldn't happen, but you know, whenever we're doing something new, we can always end up in this situation. Generally speaking, my approach with doing stuff is first of all, you know, consider the necessity of every element that you're looking to plug into the site. To me, the most important and priority number one is that I actually need to get something launched. And this is something that I um, made the mistake of early on with Member Mouse. Like I was in development for like a year before I released ev anything, <clears throat> trying to get it quote unquote perfect. And uh, the thing is, real perfection comes from having a conversation with your customers, the people who are going to be buying from you. So the sooner that you can get it out and in front of somebody, the better chance you have of actually, um, you know, getting a ball rolling, becoming successful. So you, my suggestion, first of all, you know, kind of like bypassing the fact that there's technical issues, getting these multiple integrations. Um, my first suggestion is to make very sure that you absolutely need to launch with all of those features. And um, is there a minimum viable product that maybe not exactly, you know, what you want, but at least something that you can go live with because you're always going to be improving it. There's never going to be a point, especially if people actually engage with you and um, buy this from you, buy whatever you're offering. There's always going to be, uh, an ongoing improvement process happening with the product. Um, so does that resonate with you at all? Or is this, or is the social learner and the learning component of your product, something you absolutely cannot launch without? Yeah. Okay. So you Clint saying can't launch without it. It's all set up pages, purchase links, everything is fine setting up, just have a bug checking out, registering, but I have a ticket in place as we speak. Um, okay. Yeah. If everything's set up and you got it going, um, then great. You're a, if you've got a ticket submitted with our teams and it's related to checkout and registration on the member mouse side, then they'll be able to provide you the best guidance with that because really when it comes down to it, any of these types of issues has to do with the very specific environment that you're working with. And it really can't be answered gener generally, um, except in maybe a way that I did, which is um, to say, just a, make sure you need it, you know, and then et cetera, but you do need it. So yeah, just continue with